Tunisia, homosexuality convictions upheld. Okay, this sounds like a bad news. I mean, to be fair, most of our stories are bad news. Um, Tun the, a Tunisian appeals court on July 28, 2020, upheld the convictions of two men accused of sodomy, but reduced their sentence to one year in prison. Uh, the conviction contradicts the rights to privacy and non-discrimination under international law, which are also in enshrined in Tunisia's 2014 constitution. Article 2030 of the Tunisian Penal Code punishes consensual same-sex conduct with up to three years in prison. The lawyer, the lawyer who represented the men before the appeals court said she brought to the court's attention the def defendant's statements uh, that the police bullied, insulted, and threatened them to get them to confess to being gay and attempted to uh, to persuade them to undergo an anal exam again, an anal exam uh, purport, wait, what is this? Purportedly, is that how it says? To test for sodomy, uh, I'm going to say allegedly, or alleged, allegedly to test for sodomy, which they refuse. Why is it so, why is this obsession with anal testing it's not just Saudi Arabia. Again, think about it. If Tun Tunisia, which is supposed to be the moderate, secular, tolerant, advanced, civilized Islamic country, not at all like Saudi Arabia. We just read the story that they were doing the exact same thing in Saudi Arabia. Anal testing to see if somebody's gay or not. Great job, Tunisia. Great, great job. You're like a lot like... This is the best that you could expect from the Muslim world, guys. These are the, ex the examples that people give that how Islamic countries can, are not that bad. They give you Tunisia, they give you Malaysia, and they give you Indonesia. All of them are horrible examples for a healthy, secular society. This is what you get in Tunisia. This is the best you could expect from Islam, okay? Maybe Saudi Arabia and Pakistan and Iran are the worst. And Tunisia and Malaysia are the best. So yeah, this is what this is what you get with the best. You people think you're gay, they mess with your butthole. Go on. I from what I think this is like a continuation for the news we reported on a few weeks ago, where two men were arrested because they were suspected of sodomy. Like they didn't even like they one one of them filed a case against another about a completely different thing. But somehow it led to the police investigating on them about having gay sex and it led to anal exams. And this is this is how the Tunisia does it because they they I think signed a treaty, uh, treaty or some uh, agreement that they won't force people to undergo uh, these anal tests. So they won't force them to undergo this. But the way they do this is they suggest anal tests. But if the person refuses, they automatically charge him with suspicion of. Uh, sort of me so it's like really like even if they don't force it they kind of force it because if you agree and if you had gay sex then you are caught if you disagree be, uh, they will just think that you had gay sex that's why you are disagreeing um michael sherlock is saying and the danish immigration authorities argued that sending nasser amari back to tunisia would pose no risk to his human rights or safety uh, yeah so uh, for people who don't know nasser amari uh, is uh, is by lgbt member and um, he is going to be sent back to tunisia by the Dan by the danish immigration think thinking that it's not an issue but i think maybe this maybe this court case will help nasser amari to re-examine his case i don't know um all right no, the, so... the problem is not that like mm. they think he's safe for being an atheist in tunisia about his bisexuality mm. they said they don't believe he's bisexual oh yeah they wanted him to they, the danish authorities wanted to him to demonstrate how he's bisexual which is hard yeah they were like 
have you cannot sex prove in front it. Like, how, how can you prove bisexuality? It's Demonstrate not like you have 50-50. Sex... Like, <laughs> yes. No, they want, a, they want a demonstration. They're like, bring somebody here and perform for us in front of everybody for us to know that you're bisexual. Well, it That's sounds what the like they want to do an anal exam, just like in all the other oh, countries. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. I mean, oh, actually, 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 that can oh, help. No. Actually, okay. that can help because just oh, get someone no. No. who has anal sex and let them have the test because NASA can just say, oh, I am dumb. I don't have it penetrated inside me. I, I am the one who penetrates so that. <laughs> no, Michael, um, I was making a joke because they were saying, no, you're not gay or you're not uh bisexual. Prove it. They're like, how? What are you suggesting? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. Ethan. It's Ethan, not a funny thing, but it, I just. No, it is. It's it's dark humor. It's fine. Ethan is saying is sodomy in. Oh no, what? See, this is my is. He what? misspelled sodomy. He misspelled okay, sodomy. So, okay, is sodomy an essential element of gayness, or can people be gay without it? Well, the problem is that sodomy has no legal definition, so I don't know. It's a biblical term. Um. Oh, here's a long comment. Should I read this? This is a long comment. Oh, okay, so this is the, from the Human Rights Report. This approach... For, oh, here, this is about the anal test. Yeah, it's important. Let's read it. Uh, this is, by the way, on Twitch. So follow us on Twitch, guys. Um, P2020 is saying, this approach fails to recognize that a consent is seriously compromised because trial courts can in, infer guilt from a refusal to undergo the exam. Human Rights Watch said, furthermore, the tests are of no scientific or evidentiary value in proving homosexuality. Indeed, such examinations when uh, for forcible and are intrusive, invasive, and amount to cruel, inhuman, and degrading treatment that violates international law. You know, even before you go to anal testing or whatever they're called, if you're even at the level of you have to prove to somebody that you're gay or bi, you're already like have crossed the red line that you shouldn't have been crossing as a government, I think, right? Um, the only the only context that ma makes it okay for you to ask somebody to prove that they're gay is that if you're in a relationship with them and you're gay as well, and then something, you know, you know, something, then you realize that maybe something else is going on. Maybe that's the only context. I don't know. But any, any government that, whether it's a Danish government or the Saudi government or the Yemeni government, if they come to you, even if they don't do anal testing and they tell you, like, hey, prove to us that you're gay or bi, then you know that the government has gone too far, right? Um, I mean, this actually happened to me, not with the government, of course, with a psychologist I had to go to who told me, yeah, you are not attracted to everyone. You are not pansexual. Like, I mean, how can I prove it? Like, he, he said, D did you ever have sex with guys? And I said, no, because back then I didn't. But how can I just prove it? Like, I, can I prove, like, yeah, I'm attracted to these people and certain people? Like, Wait, so you've been stupid. told... You've been yeah, told... Yeah, to I've been told. has been told that to prove that he's a pansexual by a psychiatrist? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of like it's kind of like if you say Armin, what's your favorite color? And I say it's green. And like, okay, prove it. How am I gonna prove that? How can I prove that my favorite color is green? It's impossible. You just have to take my word for it, right? And the, the worst thing is like he made me take some tests, which back then I didn't know are uh, like outdated and scientific tests, uh, which which are like I think right now banned in the UK as well. He made me take that test and he said okay, this test suggests that you are not pansexual. But when I researched about them and asked another psychologist, uh, American psychologist, they said that, oh, these tests, even if they are outdated, they were never meant to test sexual orientation anyway. So he's uh, just... Michael Michael Sherlock saying technically the people annually probing people of the same sex are committing sodomy. Oh yeah, so the government... Oh, great job, Saudi Arabia's government and Yemen's government. You're now... Co committing sodomy. Anyways, let's news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also 
if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritize what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos. So